Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Komi Can't Communicate episode um, uh, season two episode number eight reaction. Okay, we before we start, um, you know, like the you might hear sound coming from outside. You know, there's like an like some kind of festival going on, and uh, you know, like loudspeakers and everything. So you know, like that's like one problem you might have. And that's why I'm kind of going close to my mic and trying to speak in it. I've made the like you know sound as low as possible so that I can like you know it, it does not catch from the outside. But still, little bits will probably come in. So I apologize for that. So, anyways, um, so uh, this is episode number eight. So before we start the previous episode, we um begin the previous episode with Komi, and uh, you know that whole thing happened with uh, Tadano being sick and Komi, you know, like kind of grabbed his hand <laughs> hand so she was thinking of what excuse to give when um like you know like talking with tadano and najimi because najimi saw the whole situation so he was she was like writing letters and stuff that was kind of funny like you know her trying to find out some kind of excuse to tell and uh, in the end everything works out pretty well because tadano doesn't even remember it properly and uh, najimi is najimi so <laughs> yeah nothing much happened and then the middle portion of the anime um narcissist our protagonist the main protagonist of this show comes in and um like you know long story short he's an awkward character like you know i like the way i thought he would be he would be like this type of nurse narcissist type of personality he would look down on others none of that is there he just loves himself a bit too much that's just it you know and uh, he like and, and he's just awkward you know in a whole so <laughs> it's kind of funny to see his whole delusions and there's like another character who kind of narrates the whole situation i think his name was yusaku or something and in the end she he tries to get uh, like you know komi's to become komi's friend and ask her number but uh, you know like tadano was like you know like komi didn't understand what she he was trying to do and he got tadano's instead so yeah tadano got another friend <laughs> and uh, uh, the final part was an interesting part where they were trying like you know like from planning to go to the school trip and komi was having a problem and we get to hear about her previous experience uh, from the previous school's uh, outing what happened is like you know people did not take her in any of the group and she was left alone and it was kind of a bad situation and she felt really bad and it she felt as if she's burdening others that's why she just didn't go and she told that to tadano and tadano was like don't worry you know if no one goes i'll go <laughs> but in the end uh, like you know like all like you know fears were not like you know like are, were all like there, there's nothing to fear because everyone wanted to be in uh, komi's group so the teacher was like ah let's have a like you know ballot or a poll no not a poll sorry a ballot as to who is going to be in which group let's see what happens there uh let's see which group komi goes into i'm hoping it will be tadano's group but probably not this fully depends on luck so we'll see anyways let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference let's start all right here's a countdown three two one go Okay, school trip, there you go. <laughs> yep, let's go. I'm wondering which group she will be in, as I said. All right, a beautiful day. Perfect for a school trip. All right. All right, let's see what happens. This should be interesting. You know, like going to a different place with her friends and yeah, like, you know, she always, always wanted friends and there you go. She has friends now, a lot of them. Almost the whole class is her friend. <sighs> mm. 
<laughs> okay, there I can see a few characters have still not been introduced. That that those two girls, one gla girl with the glasses, and then there's the other girl. All right. Wait, are they going separately? Aren't they going as a group? Okay. Oh, there you go. There's everyone's here. We still don't know which group she he she is in. What? <laughs> Wait. Class. Wait, he's the. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Yama is not happy. <laughs> oh, those three are the groups. Okay, okay. Uh, Tadano, Najami, and Komi. And there you go. What a perfect group. <laughs> Onemine, Inaka, and Otori. Okay. Inaka's classmates are. Uh, <laughs> okay. Tato, Yadano, and. Three loss, uh, ten losses in a row. Oh, these three, as always. Najim is like everywhere. Oh, this guy. The, the, I think his name is Ota. Oh, oh, there you go. Tekimatsu Samurai. Okay. Sa that, his name is Samurai. Okay. Katai Tadano. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so Tadano, Katai, and... <laughs> Wait, so which group is Komi in? Wait, who are they? Kato, Komi, and Sasaki. We've never. Oh, there you go. Kato, Mikuni, Komi, Shoko, Sasaki, Ayami. These two girls we've not met before. First time. I was just saying, you know. <laughs> Still full. <laughs> She's still nibbling. <laughs> Stand out more. Whoa. <laughs> Kato and Sasaki. Yeah, these people are new for her, you know. She doesn't, haven't never talked to them before. Tenjo in Ryuko. Whip. Oh, she, 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 she. <laughs> yep, she fumbled. <laughs> e <laughs> Oh my god, okay. 
All right. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting, her name is Ryoko, which I think kind of means like sightseeing, Ryoko, Ryokon, yeah, Ryokon means like sightseeing or going someplace else, so her name is Ryoko. Oh, interesting. Oh. No one's listening. Oh, wow, everyone's looking at Komi. <laughs> Komi's listening, you know. <laughs> King Kakaji. <laughs> Ashika ga Yoshimitsu. Okay. Which one? Yoshimitsu anime. What anime? Yoshimitsu. <laughs> um no they're asking oh my god their picture yeah yeah oh really okay is that like a real anime i think so I've not heard of it though. Just a sec. Shinsen can cost okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. She already has one. <laughs> Kondo is Ami, yep. <laughs> the priest is also Oh my god Otori <laughs> Um She again. Oh, 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 okay. Wow, this is interesting. Yeah, exactly. True. Yeah, that uh, exactly.
like you know I, I feel like everyone is listening you know like they're not paying attention but still listening There you go, everyone's listening, oh my god. Yeah? <laughs> uh, I've seen this before. Whoa! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like it, yeah. So, oh, Suki, okay, okay, like, yeah, okay, this is the thing with, like, you know, from translation from Japanese to English. She probably, <laughs> she probably looks Suki, like, you know, which means I like it and the, the whole, okay. Anyways, I, I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> yeah, that is a... <laughs> oh my... Where is Najimi going to go? Where... <laughs> Yama is just so... Oh, okay. Alright, you're banned. You're banned. <laughs> oh my god. Someone ban this girl, please. Um... <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Wait. Um, uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I think this is the first time someone called her by her first name. <laughs> oh my god um okay well <laughs> <laughs> she's not coming back ever again <laughs> oh there they are <laughs> wow, everyone's just <laughs> oh. Yeah. What? <laughs>
Um, oh, yo, stop! <laughs> what? <laughs> D does it make no but does that make like matter yeah there you go <laughs> oh they quiz not poem but quiz what <laughs> Wait, class delinquents. But why did it look does they look so Oh because Kata is there. Yeah. That's why they're just like all quiet. Oh my god, this is going to go bad. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> okay, let's see. Katai. Oh, look at Katai. <laughs> yeah, he does his push ups, you know. His push ups, his, his training every day. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> they feel bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the way he's... Wait, what is he wearing? <laughs> Um, okay, what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh my god, this reminds me of that Golden Kamu ep episode, you know? Like where all the guys are just... Oh no! Oh no! Oh! <laughs> wow, what's happening? No one, no one's attacking Komi, but Komi also wants to join in. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, throw it. Yo, her <laughs> <the> glasses. <laughs> there you go. Like she, like, you know, she, she's having fun. Oh no, is the teacher here? Oh my god, the teacher is here. <laughs> go, go back to sleep.
<laughs> yeah, true. Then let's resume, you know. or maybe, maybe not. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Up. There you go, there was a smile underneath that, you know, underneath the blanket. Wow, that was a good episode. And um, it's still not over. And I'm, I'm guessing the next episode will also be more of the uh, school trip. So, yeah. <clears throat> and yep that is it <coughs> <coughs> all right so this was episode number um episode a eight wait a minute just a sec yeah episode number <coughs> episode number eight so we begin this with <coughs> we begin <coughs> this with uh the school trip and uh, you know we got to see in the previous episode what uh like you know komi's whole um thoughts about the school trip was how she was afraid if anyone would be actually would actually you know like be with her and like gonna accompany her with uh, in the school trip, like, as friends, and anyone will be happy with her in the group. And there you go. Like you know, in the in the previous episode, only we saw everyone was like, "Oh, I want to be in Komi's group," and that's why they had like the ballot system. And uh, yeah, so at first, we did uh, we really did not realize that um uh, like I didn't didn't realize that the group was something else. Like you know, it was um I thought that. <coughs> it was Tadano, uh, Najimi and Komi but you know like um, one thing I think one thing we could see here is the group was uh, divided uh, you know, according to gender wasn't it yeah like all girls were in one group which makes sense because you know like they they were going to be uh, like you know uh, they were going to be at the same place you know at the same hotel and everything so that's why it was um, what do you call it? It was divided according to gender, and the groups were also based on gender. So, <clears throat> okay, so Komi goes out, you know, like with everything, like, you know, her mom, like, says goodbye to her. She goes out, meets Na Tadano and Najimi in the station. And uh, Komi is happy that, yeah, the first time she, like, you know, like one of her dreams, going to the um, school trip with friends, one of her dreams after, like, you know, having friends has come true so we get into the train and everyone's like you know like in, in different groups and we saw all the groups like the first group which was kind of hilarious was <laughs> um nakanaka and uh, yamai and agari where nakanaka and yamai are definitely not good friends you know like they always kind of squabble with each other so it was kind of funny to see agari just in between them getting stuck in their whole you know, like rivalry or something like that. <clears throat> the next group was Onemini Inaka and Otori. Interesting group, you know, like all all the characters in the group are like 
what can I say? Like they have like the, this type of an atmosphere, you know. Like Inaka is like the person from the countryside. Otori is a like very calm, very cool type of person. Like you know, always doing stuff in slow motion. And Onemine is the big sister type character. So their group is like you know like kind of have like, have like the same vibe in a way. Um, <clears throat> the next group was okay. This group, Kato, Yadano, and Ushiroda. <coughs> these two we've seen before but i did not know their name so the girl on the left is satoru and on the right is ushiro da okay i'm sure we'll get our official introductions to them in the future but yeah um the other group chiarai shinobino and sonora uh, you know like these three obviously they'll be together <laughs> um Okay, the next group was <coughs> Otaku, Heikimatsu, and Samurai. Interesting. Um, his name is Samurai. I was kind of interested in, like, you know, what his name was because he had the, like, you know, the top knot thing, like, you know. Um, so there you go. Like, you know, Samurais have that type of, a, like, you know, like hairstyle. So that's why his name is Samurai. This is kind of interesting. <coughs> Okay, <clears throat> Katai, Tadano, and Naruse. That was the their group. Interesting group, and uh, you know what? Both Naruse and Katai are friends with Tadano, which was good. You know, like because Katai is we know Katai is Nar uh, Tadano's friend, and while well, Naruse also became his friend very recently. So there you go. His group is also very interesting. <laughs> All right, and last but not the least. The final group, Kato, Komi, Sasaki. So Kato and Sasaki. That was the, the other two girls' name. The two girls who we have been seeing in the opening, but we never saw them who they were. So, so I'm guessing Sasaki is the glasses girl and Kato is the, the other girl. Now we don't know what their actual uh, you know like character archetype is because all the different characters have their own like you know speciality. So we still don't know that um so maybe we'll get to know in the future but for now we get a basic introduction for uh sasaki ayami and uh what was the other girl's name just a sec kato mikuni okay kato mikuni and uh sasaki ayami all right so they're like, oh my god, this is so awkward. We are usually the <laughs> the, the characters who are just, you know, like just who, who people don't pay attention to. That's why, um, yeah, this is awkward. They're all sub like, you know, quiet and everything. Now, at first, I was thinking maybe Komi is going to misunderstand this and she'll be like, oh, they they don't like my company, you know, and like because we saw what happened before she, uh, when she narrated her previous school's experience. So I was thinking it was going to go in that direction and I was a little bit kind of concerned but then they they're like okay like you know Pocky wanna eat some Pocky <laughs> and they grab their like you know like their snacks and start nibbling on it and uh, by the end everything kind of works out pretty well because these two have this kind of an internal telepathic communication as to like oh like you know we should make this tree, uh, trip good for Komi-san because you know like this is are like you know like like we are with her that's why we should make it the best experience for her they have this type of a telepathic agreement and alliance or whatever you call it <laughs> so now still like okay, komi was kind of still like you know having a little bit of a um like you know like like as as they said like and as the narrator said like she was feeling alienated but that kind of goes like you know like kind of um, becomes okay as time goes on which we get to see now they are uh, you know like they, they they come down from there there at the station they come down from the train and uh, they get into a tour bus now the name of the girl in the tour bus is the tour guide it guide is called tenjo in yoko 
Now, as I said, you know what? Let me check. Let me check her name and the mean. Like, as far as I can understand, her name Ryoko. Like, you know, like, as, as they say, Ryokon. Ryok, Ryokon means probably like, a, like an overnight stay. You know, like somewhere else and like a vacation type of a thing. Like a trip. Ryokon. So, isn't it? I think so. I think that's why her name is Ryoko. Let me check. Uh, Tenjo in Ryoko. Okay, I cannot. F uh, she's not in the wiki. I don't think she's in the wiki. Not there. It's, she's a, probably like yeah. She's definitely a minor character. That's why she's not there. Anyways, but that's as far as I like. You know, my Japanese knowledge goes. I think that was probably the meaning behind her name. You know, like Ryoko, and that's why. You know, like, and she's a tour guide. <laughs> Anyways, um, so uh, this is the first time she is like you know, doing this. So she kind of is just you know like like you know, kind of messing up. Like you know she's uh, biting her tongue and everything, kind of flubbing. <laughs> and as always, all the students like asks her weird question. And first, Osan uh, uh, Najimi is like, "Oh, do we have uh, like you know boyfriend?" And someone else like you know the the that guy I forgot his name. He's like, "Oh, maybe I should volunteer." <laughs> You know, as always, typical children or students, and uh, they're just doing their own thing. You know, like when when they're going to the different places, they're just going on and of their own groups and doing their own thing. And she's like the tour guide. She is just you know like kind of describing the places, trying to tell them their history and everything. And they're just you know. <laughs> so the first one that they go to is a rock garden at Rio Anji, with its fifteen stones in the karesansui style okay now interesting i i i've never heard or maybe i have like you know like you can maybe like i have heard of this place but you know like i, I probably forgot it's an interesting place because um as she says like Whenever you look from one of them will always be hidden from view like that was the whole thing for this you know like this <clears throat> okay according to one of many theories number 15 was chosen by adding lucky numbers 7 5 and 3 okay by blocking a view of one stone oh okay okay so you know, she's explaining the whole thing everyone's just looking at Komi and she's like what's happening and she's like all right like you know like no problem there's a lot more we we are going to go to a lot more places we're going to go to <clears throat> now the next place they go to is kinkaguji now this is the this is a place which i've heard of before as well like you know, a different animes i've seen this place and uh, kinkaguji you know like i remember um i think yeah, I think one of Naruto's characters is also like you know named after this place, Kinkaku and Ginkaku. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. So you know, like I I know about this place, but the previous one I did not know or probably I forgot. Anyways, uh, they come here and they like you know she is trying to explain. No one's just listening. Everyone's just snapping selfies. You know. <laughs> okay, the Kinkaku was built by Ashikaga Yoshimitsu. The third shogun of the Muramachi uh, Muromachi shogunate, Yoshimitsu has appeared in a certain popular anime. Now I am guessing this is actually like a true reference. Um, let me check. What was the name of the anime? She said. Okay, okay. Before that, um, she's like asking these question and no one's listening, and Naruto says like, "Oh, look at this, this, this place and my beauty." And <laughs> like some random strangers come in and they're like, oh, can you get my picture? He's like, oh, you want my picture? Go ahead. <laughs> and they leave. Okay, now here's where she asks, not asks, sorry, answers the question. The answer was Ikkyu-san. Okay, Ikkyu-san. Is this an anime? Ikkyu-san. Probably, I think. Ikyu-san, yeah, there you go, Ikyu-san. Wow, this came out in 
Ikkyu san, the little monk. Ikkyu is a little boy training to be a monk at the Ankokuji temple, known for being mischievous and a bit of a troublemaker, but also extremely smart. Ikkyu constantly thinks of new ways to output his frustrated teachers, helping the others at the same time. Okay, so there you go. Wow, it has like 296 episodes. It's an old anime, obviously, it's, it has so many episodes. So, there you go. Um, a reference, an actual anime reference. <laughs> and that's why this, you know, kind of censored the, uh, the, the eyes with the cloud. <laughs> that was funny, because it's an actual anime. Okay, um, then he, they go to the next part, place, uh, Hong, Honganji. This is the head temple of the Honganji sect of Jodo Shinsu Buddhism. And, you know, like, uh, Kyunkaku, a national treasure, which along with the Kinkaku and Genkaku. <coughs> One of Kyoto's three great pavilions. Okay, there you go. Like, she's kind of explaining all of this. And like everyone's doing like you know their own thing. Okay, now wait, where is that part? Okay, so now uh, she sees uh, Najimi is has brought like bought like a Shinsengui costume. Uh, not Najimi, sorry, um, Nakanaka. And uh, she's like, oh yeah, right. The drum tower at the Nishi Honganji was used as a base for Shinsengumi. <clears throat> From Shimabara's gate to Mibudera's temple, many soldiers wearing the Hauri have passed this way. Okay, uh, kids your age must love the Shinsengumi, right? And... <laughs> Yeah, obviously, like Shinsengumi, I feel like Shinsengumi is like a group which has been referenced so much in so many animes. Like, I can, I can just, you know, like tell three animes which has referenced, like, you know, which has references of Shinsengumi in it. Uh, number one, Gintama, obviously the biggest one. Number two is um, the uh, the Fate Fate franchise, the Fate Grand Order franchise. They have the Sh Shinsengumi. Um, number three is um, what's the name? Uh, um, Golden Kamu. Golden Kamu. Golden Kamu also has Shinsengumi, and I'm sure there's like a lot of other animes which have the Shinsengumi references. So Shinsengumi is like one of those staple anime, um, you know, like 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 one of those groups which is like very much uh, referenced in animes and everything. So that's why you know, like she was like, yeah, like you you must love Shinsengumi, don't you, you kids? And <laughs> Nakanaka was, it's been a while, Kondo-san. You know, if you know, Kondo Isami, the, I think the captain, yeah, the captain of the Shinsengumi. And uh, I think the vice captain was Okta Soji, wasn't it? Yeah, no. No, 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 no. No, sorry, the vice captain was Hijikata, or... Oh my god, I'm mixing things up. Yeah, I think the vice captain was Hijikata, wasn't it? Hijikata Toshizo? Like, Kondo Isam is the captain, Hijikata Toshizo is the vice captain, I think. And I think, oh, um, uh, uh, Okita Soji is one of the captains of one of the groups of the Shinsengumi. And obviously, like, you know, Shinpachi is also there in, in, in uh, the Shinsengumi. A lot of others as well, like, um, what's, what's the name? Um, Sakamoto uh, Ryoma, yeah? Another really like you know popular Shinsengumi character. So these you know like people that's why Nakanaka is like it's been a while Kondo-san. And as we know like you know like I love like you know if, uh, Komi kind of brings in references from Fate and everything you know Fate Grand Order and Fate the Fate franchise. You know I'm guessing that this is also like another reference to that or maybe something I don't know. Because you know Nakanaka loves Fate, like the Fate franchise. Like we've seen him, her play Fate Grand, or Grand Order as well. That's why she was probably like, "Oh, it's been a while, Kondo-san." <laughs> Anyways, and uh, Ryoko is like, you know, seeing like everyone is doing their own thing, and then she he she sees Katai is just like you know with his face just <laughs> you know like something is happening to his stomach, and. Yoko is like, oh, 
she goes back and she's like i'm tired and she's still like you know explaining on the bus and then she starts talking about how the couples visiting this place kind of you know just uh are like in a like a like like a, like in the same distance same uh interval of distance they sit down and while she was explaining that komi and tadan was looking at that and talking about that and then ryoko kind of realizes that yeah the point is that even if one person is listening that's enough you know and uh, she remembers her time when she was also probably fascinated with the um you know like the person who was the tour guide and that's why she probably when she grew up she became a tour guide as well so that's why she's like yeah like you know my goal here is to do my duty there will be obviously be like 90% of the people will not listen to me so that 10% of the people who is going to listen to me i should make this an ideal time and a good time for them and i should do my duty here and she's like yeah like you know even if those few people become happy after listening to my explanation it's a well worth the job and she like you know starts smiling and she like yeah she gives her explanations and here we can see like you know everyone is listening like you know like it does seem like they're not listening but their ears are there you know they are listening to what she's saying so you know like then again like you know they go to the next place which is um oh wait what is this kiyomizu dera okay there you go kiyomizu dera they go and uh, i've also like you know like i've seen uh, like you know this place in multiple animes kiyomizu dera i think detective conan also had kiyomizu dera yeah 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 kiyomizu dera uh, one, one of those iconic episodes i remember it where a certain thing happened it was very iconic <laughs> if you see detective conan you're going to understand what i'm trying to say anyways um so yeah like you know so now she's explaining everything and then she's like wait a minute where is komi and tadano and <laughs> she goes tries to go and find out where they are while komi and tadano are looking at the like you know like the scaffolding and everything and talking about it so now tadano you know tadano is a very big like you know um we've seen before like she he's very excited about these type of things so he's just excited in telling komi about this and then he's like oh wait am i boring you and komi is like no 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 and she writes down she probably write writes down only suki you know only suki now this is the thing with the uh, translations you know it kind of is a little bit weird in the translations it was written i like it it doesn't make sense why tadano got embarrassed because of it but the actual reason why he got embarrassed here is because of the like the translation like you know the 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 thing got lost in translation komi probably only wrote suki you know with like you know which also means i like it or i like that thing and it also means i like you you know so that was the whole thing like that was the whole thing that's why tadano was like embarrassed tadano knew what she was meaning he was meaning the thing the scaffolding the thing you know he knew it but still it also has another meaning which means i like you he so that's why she was he was a little bit embarrassed but in the translation it was written i like it which does not which completely like you know um like you know the 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 reason why tadano got embarrassed a lot of people won't understand just by looking at the subtitles that's why tadano was embarrassed because the way komi wrote that it it had like two different meanings <laughs> anyways that was happening <laughs> and yuko is like you guys why aren't you already married <laughs> Oh. Now next they go to the uh, the the inn that they are going to you know stay in the inn the the guest the hotel or whatever you call it and uh, yeah like everyone's there like you know, like and then the teacher is like okay like go in the bath you know a little bit of time for everyone and oh my god Yamai starts just doing her usual stuff starts panting and she's like oh I'm going to I'm going to look at Komi. <laughs> yes finally after so many days and <laughs> she's just waiting to see komi change and <laughs> komi komi is also waiting because she's embarrassed now agari and on, uh, onemine comes in by that time 
and they start talking and you know like yamai kind of just i guess now yamai left after that because they came in uh, still like you know like they were kind of talking about uh, how agari was teased when she was younger younger you know and um, because obviously because of her you know because of her bust so she was just like oh everyone called me like what kudango i think yeah what did she just a sec i think she nikudango wasn't it yeah nikudango or mega meat boss oh my god <laughs> so don't even it's like ah oh, you don't have to worry i'm a little bit jealous because you know like i'm just that so she's like don't worry and she calls her himiko which is like her first name and agra is like oh my god the first time someone talking with me like this she's so happy and Oh my god when when she you know changes her you know like attire like takes off her clothes one minute is like ah meet boy <laughs> and agar is like why <laughs> anyways they go in and then you know like they're just and oh, obviously yama is just waiting you know, waiting for her chance so then komi kind of washes her hair and everything and here yamai again gets enlightened you remember like yamai this one time before as well when yamai got enlightened by komi no, not komi but but seeing the scenery for a few moments she she attained enlightenment that's what happened here as well she's just very purely she's like i want to look at it <laughs> but obviously komi just refused <laughs> i love the whole like you know scene there where they kind of explain how she became completely enlightened like the you're like the like you know like the alpine what did they say like the alpine plateau is like a baby's eye that's how pure she became i love the i love the way they explain that that whole scene <laughs> anyways but obviously komi refused now that was what was happening to the girls well for the boys you know like katai um nanuse and uh sadano they are they go in and we three the three del uh, see the three delinquents and they are scared because katai is there you know they're just just shivering just in one side <laughs> and katai is like oh how are you <laughs> greetings <laughs> and they get more scared then they go to the like you know to have the bath and they're still scared over there and here we can see obviously um naruse i'm i'm sure naruse does his daily training so he's pretty chiseled as well uh while katai oh my god katai is just like a greek god or whatever he's just oh so, like every day his his sister just trains him that's why and all the boys are like wow look at that <laughs> this is how i aspired to be <laughs> and you know they they kind of get what can i say like you know like get motivated and everything like looking at him and they are like just admiring him and later on uh <laughs> katai naruse they kind of start jojo posing <laughs> and they're like tadano like you know snap some pictures <laughs> while on the other hand the three delinquents also join them and they also start posing and tadano is just like oh yeah this is good you know like okay just stand like this you know like let me let me snap a picture okay you be over there tadano was also getting into that whole thing <laughs> Oh my god this this reminded me so much of that golden kamui ex episode where you know like all of those the, the guys went to the the sauna or whatever <laughs> the, the, the weird things that happened over there i just we just like it was just so funny <laughs> anyways um okay for the girls you know when they were going to sleep they were having the usual pillow fight and no one was like you know throwing pillows at komi but obviously najimi is there Najimi just threw one pillow towards Komi. Komi was getting a little bit kind of you know like sad because no one was throwing and pillows at her and no one was you know she was not being able to join the group. But then as soon as Najimi throws the pillow towards her, she also gets in and she also starts having fun. Then in the end, it was Najimi versus Yamai, and as soon as the whole thing was going into a climax, teacher comes in and they all go to sleep just inside the you know. <laughs> Teacher looks at everyone and everyone's underneath their blankets and she's like, oh, is everyone asleep? Okay, it seems like it. She leaves and, you know, they're, they're still awake. 
But as time goes on, they, they fall asleep. Everyone's sleeping and Komi's just awake because she's excited and she is smiling because this is the first time she is having so much fun with friends in a school trip. Not like the school trip that happened in her previous there you go everything works out pretty it has, has been working out pretty well i'm guessing the next week's episode will also be a continuation of this i'm looking forward to it so that's it guys thanks for watching this is my reaction to komi can't communicate number eight if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys next week with another episode of Komi Can't Communicate. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day.